President Donald Trump has taken the opportunity to poke fun at himself and trade barbs with the press at an annual bipartisan dinner. Trump accepted an invitation to the 133rd Gridiron Club and Foundation Dinner on Saturday in Washington, D.C., his first given that he declined to attend last year. We were late tonight because Jared could not get through security, the president joked. Referring to his son-in-law's recent security clearance woes, Trump said that his staff was concerned he couldn't do self-deprecating humor. Adding I told them not to worry, nobody does self-deprecating humor better than I do, according to initial pool report from the event. Which was closed to cameras, Trump said that he'd offered Jeff Sessions a ride to the dinner but that the Attorney General had recused himself. Scroll down for videos so many people have been leaving the White House, Trump said of recent staff turnover. It's invigorating since you want turnover. I like chaos, it really is good. Who's going to be the next to leave? Steve Miller. Or Millennia? He also referenced the pound free Millennia hashtag. She's actually having a great time, he said, on North Korea. Trump quipped that he would not rule out direct talks with Kim Jong Union. However, he said it was Kim who faced the risk of dealing with a madman, turning to the press. Trump said, and it's been a very tough year for CNN. They've lost a tremendous amount of credibility this year. And your best reporter, Steve Bannon, that guy leaked more than the Titanic. Boy, did he leak. He said that Vice President Mike Pence's comedy talent was as a straight man. Adding he is straight, I really am very proud to call him the apprentice, Trump said of Pence. But lately he's showing a particularly keen interest in the news these days. He is asking has he been impeached yet? I don't like that, he continued. Mike, you can't be impeached when there's no crime. I thought that was going to get a much better laugh. Melania said you sit. It's good, Trump said of a potential 2020 electoral challenge from Sleepy Joe Biden, I would kick his a like no other. Man, would he be easy? Trump concluded his remarks by thanking the press for all it does to support and sustain our democracy. I mean that, during Trump's remarks, a man wearing the required white tie attire stopped two attendees from recording with their phones. Every president since Grover Cleveland has come to at least one gridiron. The event traces its history to 1885. The year Cleveland refused to attend, rest assured, Mr. President, this crowd is way bigger than Cleveland's club president David Lightman. Congressional editor for McClatchy News told the white tie audience at the Renaissance Washington Hotel. According to prepared remarks released ahead of the event, Cleveland skipped the dinner because he thought her columns were filled with mean and cowardly lies, Lightman said. He did, however, have a soft spot for Fox and friends prior to the dinner. Trump entourage members spotted on their way inside included Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump, as well as Treasury Secretary Steve Mookin and his wife Louise Linton. Ivanka wore a black and white dress by Carolina Herrera. Rebuttals were scheduled from one Republican, Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, and one Democrat, New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landrieu. Trump delivered remarks to the audience of about 660 journalists. Media executives, lawmakers, administration officials and military officers, hours before the event. Trump fired off a tweet at the national press saying mainstream media in U.S. is being mocked all over the world. They've gone crazy. He linked to a story by a conservative pundit saying Trump and his family are victims of unparalleled press attacks. The gridiron dinner's reputation as a night of bipartisan mirth was evidenced by those who accepted invitations including last year's headliner, Vice President Mike Pence. Also accepting invitations were eight members of Trump's cabinet, six senators, four House members, and presidential advisors and relatives Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner. The foundation said in a statement, By tradition the evening's musical entertainment revolved around musical skits and takeoffs of well-known songs performed by journalists pretending to be newsmakers in a musical skit. A cast member playing Hillary Clinton offered a version of the song You're So Vain, the title referring to her butt. Her words aimed at the president, you walked into my west wing my white house or so I thought. Your tie strategically dropped below your belt your hair it was apricot I still wake up most nights screaming with my PGs. In a nod I still have dreams, butler serving me coffee my white house coffee. Fox News host Brett Bayer had a solo to the tune of You Can't Hurry Love as Trump's attorney. 
tie complimenting the case of special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation, he said. You can carry Bob co-anchor John Dickerson of CBS This Morning News the song King of the Road to crack on Obama's Life after the presidency, speeches for sale or rent hire me for you next event if you've got lots of dough unpacked and set to go. You know two hours of holding forth costs you more than your Ferrari's worth on the speaker's circuit now I am king of the road. A cast member playing House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi turned to I'm Against It, a song from the Mark Brothers. Film duck suit to explain her attitude toward Trump. I don't know what Trump has to say it makes no difference anyway whatever it is. We're against it even if our own side once professed it we're against it, a charitable organization. The Gridiron Club and Foundation provides contributions for college scholarships and journalistic organizations. Active membership is limited to 65 Washington-based journalists. Trump has not yet said whether he will attend the famed White House Correspondents' Dinner next month. After also skipping that event last year at the 2016 Al Smith Dinner, a similar event in New York right before the election. Trump's barbed attacks on Clinton drew boost from the audience of Catholic priests. Cameras were banned from the March 3rd dinner in Washington, D.C. But pool reporters were allowed in and conveyed the gist of his remark. Trump said that his staff was concerned he couldn't do self-deprecating humor. Adding I told them not to worry, nobody does self-deprecating humor better than I do. We were late tonight because Jared could not get through security, the president joked. Referring to his son-in-law's recent security clearance woes, Ivanka, you've got to do something, Trump said. Adding that Kushner is a great guy who has suffered, he said that Vice President Mike Pence's comedy talent was as a straight man. Adding he is straight, I really am very proud to call him the apprentice, Trump said of Pence. But lately he's showing a particularly keen interest in the news these days. He is asking has he been impeached yet? I don't like that, he continued. Mike, you can't be impeached when there's no crime. I thought that was going to get a much better laugh. Melania said you sit. It's good. Trump said that he'd offered Jeff Sessions a ride to the dinner, but that the attorney general had recused himself, turning to the press. Trump said, and it's been a very tough year for CNN, they've lost a tremendous amount of credibility this year. And your best reporter, Steve Bannon, that guy leaked more than the Titanic, boy did he leak, he said some people doubted him after he lost Bannon. His chief strategist but joked that those same people now say somehow you're still doing great without Omarosa, Omarosa. You're the worst, Trump declared. So many people have been leaving the White House, Trump said of recent staff turnover. It's invigorating since you want turnover. I like chaos. It really is good. Who's going to be the next to leave? Steve Miller. Or Melania? He also referenced the pound free Melania hashtag. She's actually having a great time, he said, on North Korea. Trump quipped that he would not rule out direct talks with Kim Jong Union as far as the risk of dealing with a mad man is concerned. That's his problem, not mine, Trump said. He must be a fine man. Do you think he's a fine man, Trump said of a potential 2020 electoral challenge from Sleepy Joe Biden, I would kick his a like no other. Man, would he be easy, Trump also mocked Oprah and Democrat Senator Elizabeth Warren. He once again called Warren Pocahontas and quipped that the senator suggested he and Rex Tillerson should smoke a peace pipe with the Koreans toward the end of the speech. Trump spoke about DACA, I love the Dreamers, we're going to help the Dreamers, he said. Trump said all were working together on DACA. I hope that something's going to happen, said Trump. Trump concluded his remarks by thanking the press for all it is to support and sustain our democracy. I mean that, 